Now a Colorado Springs based service dog business under investigation by the State Department of Agriculture. Several families say the dogs are not service dogs and in fact behave poorly. This is Allison Zimmerman talked with both sides today with more on what's going on here. Allison. Rob, one of those customers lives here in the Springs and she told me she received the dog as a gift from the resource exchange. It's with a program for families with disabilities, but she didn't expect the dog would behave like it does. It's up in the air. I have no idea what's going to happen to this dog. When Brandis Perry received a service dog for her six year old daughter, Chloe, she hoped it would help her family out. Chloe has epilepsy, cerebral palsy, and a rare genetic condition. A service dog to my idea is training every single day for <laughs> who knows how long before they're considered a real service dog. And when they got their dog, Trusty, Perry wasn't expecting what happened. I found out I was his third home, so that explains a lot of, I believe, his issues. From accidents on the floor to separation issues from the family, Perry felt she was misled. Upset, um, screwed. And I just keep getting shut down that it was my fault for not training properly when I'm not the one being paid to train these dogs. The State Department of Agriculture confirmed with News 5 it is investigating claims against Noel's Dogs for Hope, a service dog business based here in the Springs where Perry received the dog. We reached out to an attorney representing the business today who told us this. We're not commenting on the ongoing investigation at this time, but we are seeking to resolve the claim. The attorney also said, and for those customers that are unhappy, she has attempted to provide additional training for their dog and or work out a settlement arrangement where she returns their money. Perry says she doesn't have bad blood with the owner. I, I've never had a problem with her. I've never had a problem with her. Um, I've explained things. She said we'll get them worked out and then I never hear anything. And if she tries to figure out what to do next, she says she doesn't want to lose a dog her family has found a little support with. I mean, yeah, they could probably give me another dog, but I don't want that. There's already a connection with this dog. Understandably. Yeah, and again, that investigation is in the very early stages, which is why we couldn't find out a whole lot from mm -hmm. the business's attorney, but we'll continue to follow this story as that investigation unfolds and we'll let you know what yeah. happens. Obviously, you talk to someone who is disappointed with the service, but in fairness, you have heard from some people who are actually pleased with the service they've received or the dog that they've received. Absolutely, and you know, I reached out to the business owner. She put me in contact with the attorney, and the business owner also gave my contact information to some of those customers that have actually been pretty happy with the mm -hmm. services they've received. So, you know, there are always two sides to every story. Right. So we, of course, included those, and we have more from them on our website, koa.com. And more to come as this litigation moves forward. We'll see how that turns out. Allison, thank you.